Hey, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome to Milkweed Farms. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about these beautiful, these are habanadas, peppers, I picked out of my garden. This is all I have ready for the moment, so I'm going to see if I can get two jars of these. But I was wondering, I'm going to show you one up close. Aren't they pretty? They look like habaneros, but they do not have the heat. Um, they have kind of a, they're spicy but not hot. They just have real flavorful. And they have um, a sweetness to them and a little bit of a tropical taste to them. So um, we're going to try to preserve some of these today. So what I've done is I've washed these. I've sterilized two jars because I doubt if I have any more than will fill two jars. And as you can see, in each pepper I have cut a slit down the side. And that is so our brine can get into them. I'm going to pickle these just like you would a pepperoncini pepper. Um, I've never done this before, but I was like, how am I, what am I going to do with these gorgeous peppers? And I do love pepperoncini. So, and they have about the same um, spiciness, I guess. So anyway, I'm going to fill my two jars with these and see where we're at. These are sterilized jars. I already boiled them, which means, somebody said, what do you mean sterilize it? I boiled them in water, uh, boiling water for three to four minutes. Now, um, should be just about right, maybe. They're going to be, I could have added some more, but I don't have any more. So I'm going to just do this amount, and the brine level is what's really going to matter. So I'm going to do two jars. Um, I have some brine. What I've done is I put equal amounts of vinegar and water, and uh, I put one cup of water, one cup of vinegar, a fourth a cup of sugar, and about a teaspoon and a half of salt in this. And I've let it heat over here for a little bit and kind of dissolve the salt out. And now I'm going to pour that, and I may not have enough. I may have to make a little more. I don't know. Let's see how it works out. You can just top... <laughs> My peppers are coming up on there. You can just top off with a little bit of vinegar, too, if you need to. But I'm probably going to go ahead and add 50-50 a little bit more so I can bring that water level up just a bit. Okay, I'm making a little bit more brine. I actually poured this out because I noticed that when... I put the brine on these and I did, had not cut the tops off that they were floating a lot and so they were very buoyant. So what I did was I went ahead and cut the tops off. That's how canning goes. You kind of have to change things up as you're going. I cut the tops off of these so they'll fill up with the brine more because um, as they fill up, your brine level will go down uh, while they're in the canning process and we don't want that. We want uh, to have plenty of brine in these. So I'm going to go ahead and just chop the very top, just that little green part, off the end of each one of these to help them so they don't float above the water level. Hopefully they'll fill up with the brine. And uh, yeah, it gives a much bigger opening. So we're going to do that. I have my lids heating up over here in a pan and my rings. That guy in there. Okay, now I have two jars. Tops are all cut off. Let's try this again. Those are so beautiful. I love these peppers. All right, our brine is heated. Now we're going to try it again. And they shouldn't float quite as bad, or at least they should eventually fill up and go down in the jar. Okay, let's see. There's a lot of bubbles coming out, so they are, they're filling up. There's a few floating, but, and they, you know, they may float a little bit anyway, but. All right, next thing we're gonna do is wipe the top of the jars off, which I usually use a paper towel, but I didn't have one handy, and honestly, we've only pretty much had vinegar and water out here, so there's not gonna be a lot of stuff on the jar, but I'm going to wipe it off anyway. All right. We're going to process these in a hot water bath for 10 minutes. 
And always use salt that is not iodized when canning. I didn't tell you that at the beginning. I use Redmond's Real Salt, which is amazing. I love Redmond's Real Salt. Um, it's really good for you. And we're going to put these on just finger tight. And I'm going to use my jar tongs to set them in my water over here behind me, which you can't see. I'm going to move my camera. Sorry, this was a spur of the moment video. I didn't want to miss out showing you that you can pickle just about anything you want um, and preserve it. So I wanted you to see these. Look how pretty those are. So we're going to process these as soon as it comes to a rolling boil, not until um, I'm, and the water should be at least an inch, possibly two, over your jars. As soon as it comes to a rolling boil, I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes and uh, we'll be back. All right, our timer is going off and we're going to turn the fire off under these and uh, take them out and see what they look like. I'm kind of excited about this because this is something I've never done before. And I decided to get a little creative with some peppers. I didn't know what to do with these. They're delicious to eat on their own, but you know, you can only eat so many peppers raw, right? So, oh, I just knocked one over. Let's um, take this little guy out. There's a lot of brine in here. Uh, I probably might have been able to stuff all these into one jar had I pushed them down in, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. See, I have quite a bit of brine in each jar and my peppers went to the top. So let's see, they should seal now and uh, it's something else to add to your pantry shop. So if you found this helpful or you want to try any pepper from your garden and do this, uh, please like, subscribe, share with your friends and so they can try peppers too. Thanks for joining me.